Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I was married to my ex-husband for nine years. We got divorced five years ago. I was about four months pregnant and went to the doctor. When I returned home, I found my older brother and my husband together. It was really disgusting to see. According to my ex-husband, he and my brother took drugs and he doesn't remember how they got into that situation. My brother is gay, but I never knew if my ex was gay or bisexual or anything like that. I filed for divorce and we share custody of our daughter. We have been cordial despite everything. We spent two holidays a year together, the three of us. Since my divorce from my ex-husband, he has been quite depressed. At first, he looked for any excuse to talk to me and be with me, but then he realized that it was not going to work. In these years that we have been divorced, he has seemed quite depressed, tired, and talks less. He also gained too much weight. He didn't go to the gym, but he was a pound or two over his ideal weight, so he was at a pretty decent weight. Now he weighs around 280 pounds, and I'm really worrying about him. I also discovered that he recently lost his job, that he's staying with his sister, and that he's one step away from being diagnosed with diabetes. I don't know how to tell him that I am worried about his health since the last time I did it, he misunderstood that I would give him another chance, which is not the case. How can I help him without him misunderstanding the situation again? Don't. I'm sorry. Don't. Why would you want to help someone who can't even help themselves? That's the big question. It's just like someone trying to change someone else when they know they can't. No one's going to change for you if they don't want to change themselves, all right? Like you ain't going to make the change. <laughs> The person themselves literally have to wake up and change. Oh, and there's an update. It also says during the nine years, he was not faithful to her because he cheated on her with other women. But she kept going back to him. Girl, I don't know what to tell you, but you should stop going back to him. Like, you should stop even worrying about him. The more you worry about someone, the more you're willing to give them another chance. Okay? And that's not good. Seriously, if someone can't even be faithful to you once. Yeah. Come on now. That's not it. How are you going to stay with someone for nine years when they've been cheating on you consistently? No, thank you. Girl. Come on now. And this time it's with your brother. Dude. They both suck. And here's the thing, why would you even want to stay with someone who takes drugs? Right, come on, you guys have a kid together. It's not a good example to be setting for the kid. <sighs> My girlfriend of 12 years said no when I proposed to her. What do I do? My girlfriend and I started dating when she was 20, and I was 22. Despite having been a couple for many years, we do not live together. I spend a lot of time in her apartment and sleep there almost all the time. She mentioned marriage after two years we started dating, but then she stopped. A week ago, I proposed to her, bought her a ring, and made her a romantic dinner, but she said she didn't want to marry me, that she preferred our relationship to continue as it was before. I'm almost 35, and I want to marry her, live together, and start a family, and now I don't know what her plans really are. I don't really know if I should continue the relationship or just break up. It hurts me, but I really love her and I don't know what to do in this situation. What would be the best way to approach this delicate situation with my girlfriend, considering our differences about marriage and our future plans together? This is why I don't get some people. Like, why are you staying together for so long if you've never talked about marriage before? Hmm? Like, she mentioned marriage two years after dating, so there's been like a 10 year gap that he never talked about before. Like, you never brought it up during those 10 years, like, being like, I think I'm ready, like, I do want to marry you, what about you, what are your plans in the future, blah, blah, blah. Nope. He talks about this after he proposes to her. Huh? Like, you're supposed to do that before. <laughs> not after. You're not supposed to ask about their plans after you propose. No. So you literally just wasted 12 years of your life. Seriously? Well, there's an update. I spoke to her last night. We had a long and somewhat awkward conversation. She said that before she really wanted to get married and that she didn't expect a ring after two years. She just wanted to talk about it at that time to plan a better future together. When she talked about marriage, I told her it wasn't the time. Still, she waited, but when she turned 28, she realized that the ring was never going to arrive. She said she no longer wanted to get married or live together. She appreciates her own space, and even though I spend time with her in her apartment, it is still her own space. Regarding children, she does want to have children, but even when the baby arrives, we will not live together. It would be like sharing custody and going out together as a family, and still being a couple. She also mentioned that she needed six months to a year for her body to detoxify from the contraceptive, but she will still consult her gynecologist. She said that these are her terms and that I was completely free to accept them and continue the relationship or break up and pursue what I want. 
and I really don't know what to do. I really regret not giving her the ring sooner. Plus, she has spent 12 years agreeing to my terms. I do not really know what to do. Boy, 12 years. Obviously, someone's going to get fed up. And then 10 years later, you ask her? <laughs> so now, she's literally accepted being alone. You know, like she literally loves her own space now because the older you get, the more you value your own space. The more you feel like you don't need someone. The more you feel like you just want to be at peace. So yeah, I totally understand her and she's given him the option. So either you accept her terms or you just break up, right? And I feel like that's so mature of her. She waited 10 years for him. And it's just like, you know what? I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I changed my mind. I don't want to get married to you anymore. You took too long. Like, you didn't want to marry me? Like, you didn't want to marry me until 12 years later? Like, what the hell are you waiting for? At that point, she's already, like, distanced herself from him in case he wanted to break up because it took so long. So she was already like, you know what? I'm ready for the breakup. That's just what it is. A lot of people, they know. They know they're not going to last. So they are ready, like, take themselves out of the relationship but they don't break up yet but they just know and their feelings are just you know like I don't really care anymore do what you want because from the update we can really tell he didn't even want to talk about marriage with her you know she was like talking about marriage and he was like it's not the time it's not the right time yeah but you could at least let her know when will be the right time, right? Like, if you told her 10 years later, then she would have stayed with you anyways. <laughs> like, you should have told her. So, yeah, I feel like the only thing the two of them should do is just break up. Go their own separate ways. In a way, it just feels like she loved him all this time. But then now she gave up and he realized too late. So, yeah, he can find someone else to marry now that he's ready. Good for you, boy. Good for you. And I'm proud of her, seriously. Like, I'm proud that she's setting boundaries. <laughs> and I was like, I feel like he just disrespected her by letting her wait 12 years. My husband won't let me cut my hair. I have very long hair and I'm getting over it. It's very heavy. It gives me headaches when I wear it up and it's in my way. I've had long hair my whole life and I really want to cut it off short and do something different. Growing up, I never had short hair. It's really curly and it was easier to manage when it's long. So I just kind of forgot about it, but now I don't want it so long. I also have friends who change their hair all the time and mine's been the same and I think it will be fun. I don't want to dye it or anything. My husband loves my hair and I keep explaining to him that it will still be long. I want to cut it to my boobs and he got so mad. That's literally my hair right now. He said I will look ugly and it will make me look old. He doesn't want a wife with mum cut. He said he only likes women with long hair. I'm tempted to just go behind his back and cut it. After all, it's my hair, right? Sorry for this stupid post. I'm just getting so frustrated arguing about my hair. It's making me crazy. He's so obsessed with me not getting a haircut. Ew. Any partner who tells you you can't do this, you can't change your looks, you can't get this haircut, blah, 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 blah. Mm, yeah. Red flag. It's your body, do whatever you want. The audacity, seriously. She's like, she wants to cut it to her boobs. This is long. This is long. Some people. Some people think they can just control someone else's life like that. Hell no. Girl, cut it. It's your hair, cut it, okay? And then, if he treats you badly, then you know you should leave because he doesn't love you. Like, who the hell is with someone because of their hair? Hello? You're supposed to be with someone because you fell in love with their soul, alright? <laughs> well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!